Hey guys, King Human here, and uh, I got an email. I lost another one of my good subscribers. A guy named Caveman died last week, and uh, <clears throat> he was a big burly guy. But man, he was a great guy. He was so cool. Anyway, <clears throat> um, he was one of my early subscribers, and I joined back in like '07, I think. So. It kind of got me reminiscing as to the old days when I first started being on YouTube. And I got on YouTube mostly for the people in blogs because there were a lot of crazy characters in the people in blogs section back then. It's not like it is now, you know. It's, it's Back then, I can't describe it. It was a lot of drama and a lot of craziness. And, uh, you know, it seemed like people were just, 90% of it was people yelling and screaming and calling other people idiots and, you know, it was just total drama. And because I was inexperienced and naive, I thought that was what people expected. So I got on YouTube and the first few videos I made, I was a total dick. I jumped right in the fray and I was a total idiot. And then it didn't take me long to realize hey, we've got a great gift here with this YouTube thing. We've got a venue. We, got, we can speak our minds. We can reach out to the world. And you know what? And we're using it to show people getting hits in the, hitting the nuts with a, a football and to yell and scream at each other? You know, we can do something a little bit more positive with this great gift we've got. So I decided to start doing some videos and giveaways where I would reward people that do something good for humanity and the environment. And I'm proud to say I had people clean up freeways and, and streams and parks and all that kind of stuff. People went to hospitals and gave toys to kids. I mean, I'm, I'm proud to say that, you know, my subscribers are really great that way. And, uh, you know, there, there was one kid that came to me and said, hey, King Human, this is back in the day. He goes, hey, King Human, I'm laid up in, in bed. I can't get out of bed, and I need this piece of equipment to help me walk. Could you please help? And it's expensive. You know, maybe you could do something, do a shout-out. And I said, sure, I'll see what I can do. Let me try. So I did a video, and I said, people, you know, let's, let's get some money together and help this kid. He's one of ours. He's a, he's a YouTuber, and you can see this kid is in bad shape. He's bedridden. Let's go without a cup of coffee, and let's help put our money together and get this kid the equipment that he needs, the medical equipment. And one of the other things I did was I emailed all the big shots, the big YouTube celebrities in the people and blog section. And I was amazed at the hostility I got from that. I mean, people were just downright evil and hostile at my suggestion of helping this kid. These big shots, one guy in particular, I'll remember it till the day I die, emailed me back because I, uh, my email said, Hey, you're in a position to help this kid. You've got a gazillion subscribers. And I've looked at your videos, and all your videos are about you. You know, why don't you, could you please just think about using your subscriber base to do something good for a change and help this kid out. Let's get together and help this kid. And the guy emailed me back and just was, uh, he, he just said, you know what, I would have helped this guy, but I didn't like your tone of voice. I didn't like your email, so I'm not going to help this kid. Oh my God! Are you that self-absorbed? And are you that egomaniacal that because I didn't kiss your ass good enough, you're going to punish this kid who needs medical equipment? You're going to deny him the help that you could easily give him just by lifting your little finger and doing a, a five-minute shout-out video but you're not going to do that because you don't like me? Wow, how egomaniacal and self-centered can you be? I just, I, that just blew me away. I won't tell you the guy's name because he's still on YouTube and I'm sure he's still a self-centered prick. 
but, you know, it, it just amazed me. And I guess what I'm getting at here is that the big shots, no matter how much I tried, I couldn't get any of these big shots to do anything to help anybody other than themselves. So, now that I see people like Happy Slip and Kev Jumba picking up the torch, because what they've done is they've said, you know what, we're going to start our own separate channels and it's going to be 100% about charity. Every nickel we make from those channels is going to go to charity. So I see that, and yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's been a couple of years I've been screaming this stuff. But I'm just glad it's happening, and I give nothing but maximum respect to Kev Jumba and Happy Slip for doing that. There's also another guy that's been doing it, um, up, down, mostly. And, you know, he's trying to do a ripple effect and do something positive. It's not all about him, you know. And I, I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling here. School of thought, you know, just train of thought stuff. But, again, we've been given a great gift here with this whole YouTube thing. And I think it should be mandatory. Everybody that uploads videos to their YouTube channel should upload at least one video to help somebody else. A video for charity or whatever. I don't care if it's ten seconds long and all you do is say, Hey, think about giving to the Leukemia Society. Bye. I don't care. You should do, and I'm not saying, hey, you should make your whole channel into a charity channel. Just once in a while, do something positive. I was always taught that, you know, wherever you go, try and leave the place you go to a little better than you found it. So, I hope that when I die, I will leave this planet a little better than I found it. By raising some awarenesses, by inspiring some people, whatever, something positive. Hopefully I've achieved that, and hopefully I've gotten you guys to think about doing something positive with your channels. And again, I want to say Kev Jumba and Happy Slip, I don't follow your videos a lot, I do my own thing, but you know what, maximum respect for doing that, up, down, mostly, you got to check him out. He's, he's doing something positive with his channel, and uh, I give him nothing but respect for that. And uh, anyway, I don't know, I guess I'm just rambling. I'm kind of in one of those moods whenever I hear uh, that somebody good died, you know. Oh, and by the way, that kid that I talked about in the video that needed the medical equipment, he died too, you know, and that was a long time ago. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I guess I'm just rambling, guys. But, I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Be good. Bye, Nara.